Okay, ladies. I made a video that says stop being a man. The only time a man gonna stop being a man is when y'all stop looking for a man. When y'all stop wanting a man and think you need a man. We all know the day when you let a man think you need him, how he treats you. The majority will tell you, like crap. So if God won't accept a man, if the Lord won't accept a man, why would you accept a man? A man cannot go to heaven, only a gentleman. A gentleman admits to his mental and emotional. That's, that's a G. Understand that. As for a G, as for a gentleman, God gave enough man in you that you'll never need a man, want a man, or should even desire a man. Because at the end of the day, do you really want to carry that man around in you? Do you really want to be responsible for that man in you? True strength, true strength is learning to let go of that, that strength in you and being comfortable in it. Learning how to truly find something greater than yourself and trust it. Because you can't go to heaven as a woman. A woman is a similar strength and a man is a similar strength. There's no need for us to be strong in front of our Lord and our God. They're our Savior and Protector. If you cannot bow down for something greater than yourself on earth, then how will we ever be allowed to bow down for God? A man will only stop being a man when you stop looking for a man. At the end of the day, how do you want to be treated? Tough or gentle? And that's when a man has to learn how to add to himself. He has to add the mental and emotional to himself. He has to add that part. That's learn to be gentle. Pit it before the physical part. That's what a gentleman does. He pits that. He, he's a gentleman. He pits something before himself. Before the man in himself. That's the why a gentleman is in front. And a woman has to learn to let go of herself. She got to let go of that strength in her. She got to let go of that man. You have the closest relationship with God. God comes to your womb. Before he even comes to you, you've been bleeding the blood of God for seven days. If you don't bleed the blood of God, carry God's child, and live through a birth, you ain't no woman. You can, you can tuck it, pluck it, stuff it. But at the end of the day, until you bled for seven days, bleeding for seven days is all you need to do. To me, bleeding for seven days is almost like I'm walking on water. If we can go to church and drink the, the blood of Christ, why can't we respect the, a, a woman of Christ? A goddess a walks amongst us to bleed the blood of God. That's what she does. Her power, her godlike power is bleeding the blood of God. You have to bleed it in yourself. God comes to your womb for nine months and build a fetus. And that fetus is a soldier of the Lord. I truly believe Jesus tells the Lord what he wants to be in that child, that, that angel, or that goddess. I believe the Lord tells them this is what I need on earth, in hell, so they can make it back to heaven's gate and prove that they're worthy to go through heaven's gate. But if you're in tune to yourself, Jesus will listen to you and make sure God put that in your child. What and how do you want your child to be? That's where we need to connect more at. We're very selfish creatures. We need to literally take that time and meditate and, and, and let that child feel our energy. Feel our emotions. During that nine months, that, that is the connection of a mother and a father. A mother and father is closer to a lady and a gentleman. What a man and a woman do, a mother and father can't do, nor will a lady and gentleman do. Understand the difference. God is not going to accept a man in me, but he will accept the gentleman. A man don't bend to his knees. A man is a symbol of strength. But I truly believe there's no need for me to be strong in front of my God or my Lord. And if I can't find something greater on earth, I find every female on this world, planet, is a goddess. I don't want to deal with the woman in them. No man does. I want the part of her that doesn't carry a man in it. And that's the lady. That's her butterfly stage. But I still submit to the a female goddess. I know who she is. I respect that. God knows that. The woman and her, please. God knows I want to deal with the woman. I tell God every day, you got some beautiful women, all different shapes, sizes, and colors, but I don't want no woman. She got too much man in her. I'm a G. If I bow down for a woman, she'll kick me in my face in some form or way. She's totally un unaware of her mental emotional capacity. That's why a woman will always be alpha over a man. 
she will always be alpha over a male. It's that mental and emotional capacity that she has. She's more mature and more emotional sound. She, 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 she gives birth in that. She lives in that. She creates in that mental and emotional. Her physical capacity, magnificent, beautiful. She can have a whole fetus inside her womb. God is the contractor. He comes to her womb for nine months. She has a relationship with God that no male will ever know. And we can't. It ain't no point in our lives or our manifestation that we spend that type of time. But we distract her. We distract her from her being relaxed and comfortable to be able to be that come that mother. To, to mentally and emotionally nurture that child inside her womb. And then we wonder why our kids act the way they act. They don't know us. Because we don't know ourselves. The combination is what I'm trying to teach you. Is the descending of a goddess. She's born as a goddess female, a goddess girl, a goddess woman, a goddess lady. Only return to heaven's gate as a goddess lady. A goddess lady can't even go through heaven's gate. You'll let that go too and you'll go through the heaven's gate as a goddess, the spirit of a goddess. The soul of a lady, meaning that you committed and you know the difference between a woman and a lady. And that's why, that's why Jesus will open heaven's gates for you. True confession is confessing to the difference. No different than male. A descending angel is born on earth as an angel male, angel boy, angel man, angel gentleman. Only return to heaven's gate as an angel gentleman. There's a difference between a man and a gentleman. They're both angels. You walk in the stages of a human, human society, being. Your human being, not your celestial being. Your celestial being is the goddess and the angel in you. Take the time to ask Alexa what a goddess is. Forget a queen unless you got royalty blood. I believe a goddess is greater than a queen. I believe an angel is greater than a king. A king and a, a queen cannot exist in front of in, in heaven. There's only one true king. Okay? You're going to leave that at heaven's gate. And if you don't, you're going to be stuck in purgatory. True confession, you know who the king is. Don't believe everything you read. Believe what you sense. What you sense is what's speaking to you. That's God speaking to you. That's the Lord speaking to you. And before you can ask for God's help, you got to follow the chain of command. The chain of command, I truly believe God gave Jesus domain over heaven's gate. He gave his life for us. He finds what's worthy to go through heaven's gate to speak to his father. And once we're inside heaven's gate, then it becomes our father. You know what God did to, to the devil when he was inside heaven's gate? He kicked him out. Negative. What are you teaching God? God learns from us. Understand. What did Jesus put in you? What did Jesus asked the God to create inside that womb, that fetus. What is your responsibility to life? What are you supposed to offer? What are you supposed to contribute? Understand that. There's so much more to what we do. Go to school. School is to teach us how to learn. Life is your lesson. Life is truly your apprenticeship. Everything you go through in life is apprenticeship to who you are as an angel. What will you take back to heaven? Understand that. We teach our kids that they, they don't know nothing. You go to the workplace, everything you learn in school, forget about it. We do it different. No. Learn how to apply what you have learned already. Learn how to apply yourself to what you plan on doing. We all got the LD problem. It's not a learning disability that we all just learn differently than each other. God don't want us to learn the same. Our trials and tribulations are different. And even if they are the same, we're going to do them different. Well, the question is, what are you teaching God? What are you teaching the Lord? Understand that you're a soldier. And you're a soldier of the Lord, Jesus, Lord. Before you can make it through heaven's gate, you got to prove yourself to the Lord that you're worthy to go through heaven's gate. When you can comprehend that and know that, then you focus. It's not about how much money you got. You can be very smart, but if you ain't doing nothing with it, a better society, what good is it? Be blessed. Stop being a woman.